Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back again to our channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes. I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop a line in comment. I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 250 videos so far on Shopify customization. They were all mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I would be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe. Or maybe now you should consider doing so because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now I'll be sharing complete sections and widgets, highly customizable to make a Shopify store very unique or professional without having to rely on those expensive teams or hiring those expensive developers or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money and it's not a very good idea for long-term projects. But I give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, now let you decide, now I respect your decision. But for now, let me fill for again one of the most requested videos on this channel, which is how to add an animated logo on the header on your Shopify store without using any applications and without using any complicated stuff. And not just one animation or two, it's actually over eight animations that you can pick from which one you wanna use and actually two types of the same animation. The one that's constant without user interaction, so the logo will be animated without any interaction or the user hovering over it. And the second one, which is on hover. So the user has to hover over the logo, then it will show that animation. But I think most of the people are interested in the constant animation, which is the logo animated without any uh, hover or the user using the mouse cursor over it or something like that. And that's exactly what I wanted to show you in this video. And also, I have uh, two codes for each uh, version of Teams because down team requires different codes and also Horizon team and the newer ones require different codes. So if you are using Horizon team or one of the newer variants that were released with it, no worries, I got you. And if you are using down team or one of the versions that were releasing, released with it, like for Fresh Sense and so on, no worries, I got you too. So what else you need, man? And also the codes are completely free. The only thing I'm asking you is, please hit that like button and leave me a comment. I do reply to each comment, so I will reply to you. And also, it will motivate me to share more free things with you guys. Because a lot of people who copy the code and make the same video using my codes without any credits. And that actually demotivates me. So if you can help me out, hit that like button, leave me a comment. I would really appreciate it. And also, I'm here working for you. So even if you have an issue, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to help you out. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. And each video adds small customizations, but with like 70 or 60, the team will be completely different. Check out, for example, this all in world views carousel that shows views from multiple sources and is filterable, or this scrolly logos with fade on the, on the corners, as you can see, or even better, the recent sales on your Shopify store, recent sales notifications on your Shopify store by using your own custom code. Or you wanna see something that will make you more money, check this out. So this is the mouse cursor, right? I will act just like I wanna leave and this thing will show up, which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and he didn't check out. And this is by the mouse cursor trigger, which is the detects when the user trying to leave, then it shows up and by using your own custom code. So what else you need, man? I got everything for you here, so you don't have to pay monthly for those subscription applications, but I'll let you decide, and I will quit now, I promise. So as you can see, this Shopify store, uh, down team, sorry, it's already fully customizable, even with the wishlist system with the icon on the header. I did that in the videos and completely free again. As you can see, it has so many stuff. So I will do demonstration on uh, Horizon team instead. But as I said, there is multiple codes for both Horizon team and the other variants as well as down team. So you can pick and choose. Now we'll explain that in a moment. So let me close this actually and let me open up Horizon team, which is this one. So as I said, we will do demonstration on this one. As you can see, this is the logo, doesn't have any animation, doesn't have anything as you can see. So we will animate it. So we will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So get back to Shopify dashboard. And the next thing you're going to do is click on three dots or left of customize and click on edit code. But for my case, I'm using uh, Horizon team. So I'm gonna do it in here instead. Then click on edit code as I said. Then it will open up the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here on the left panel, you see these folders right here. We need to find a specific file and specific fo inside specific folder. Instead of using the folders and files like this, use the search bar at the top left corner, then search for base.css. 
and this file exists on all Shopify teams. So simply click on it and a lot of code will show up here. No worries. Scroll all the way down. Actually, you need to drag this because it's a huge file. So let me do that all the way down to the bottom of the file. And in here, we need to create some space to pass in our code and simply click front of the last thing in my case is closing bracket, then hit enter on your keyboard. Here we go. We have a completely new space to pass in our code. Where are you going to get that code? From the description box, of course. Scroll down the description box and you will see a website, my website, completely free again. Simply click on it and it will take you to this website right here. And you might get confused because once you scroll down, you will see a lot of code in here. But no worries, I will explain everything. So the first thing is from the heading in here, you will see code horizon and other variants, constant animation. So these codes here are for actually the horizon team and the other variants that were released with it. I mean the new teams. And this one is for the constant animation. Without any user interaction, the logo will be animated. And in here, there is many animations. I will explain that in a second. Just give me one moment. And below, if you scroll down, you will see again another heading that says code horizon and the other variants on hover. This code below is actually not constant animation. So once the user hover over it, let me actually do that. I have one here. Yeah, as you can see, just like this. So once I hover over the logo, it will be animated. This code that I did show you now is for that. And there is many animations here. I would explain them that just one second. If I scroll down more, you will see the exact same, but for down. So this one called down team, the other variants, constant animations, and this is the code for them. And below again, a code down team, the other variants on hover, which is the code for them. And that's the finish. No more codes in here. So let me actually zoom, uh, go up and let me show you the first one. So if I zoom in in here, you will see each one I have a comment explaining what is the animation. So this one is a, a continuous pulse effect, heartbeat animation. As you can see, here is heartbeat animation. And this is the code for it. Below is breathing effect, fade in, fade out animation. And this is the code for it. And below again, elastic bounce effect. And the fourth one is a pendulum swing effect, which is the swinging effect. And the, fourth, the fifth one, sorry, is floating effect, gentle up and down movement animation. And this one is the combination effects. So these ones below are combinations between these two. For example, the first one is the pulse plus rotation. So it's pulsing and it's a rotation, dynamic movement. And below this one is breathing plus float and so on. So the last one in here, you will see, let me zoom, here it is, this one. So this is very important. So because there is an option in the browser, if you don't know this, on Chrome browser as well as Safari and Firefox, which is for the users who are sensitive to motion. So if they have that option enabled, this code will detect it and will not show any animation. So if you are interested in adding this, add your animation, it will work just fine and add this code again because this one will detect if the browser has the option enabled that means the user has sensitivity when it comes to uh, motion then it will not show any animation so above let me actually pick one of my favorite what is it it's actually one of the combinations this one pulse and rotation so simply select which animation you want then select the code for it uh, make sure to select from the dot in here. You don't have to select the comment. This is just for explanation. Select from the dot until the bracket, the last one. Right click, copy, get back in here, paste it in the space that we did create in the base.css, then click on save. Wait for a couple of seconds, hit save it. Now we will get back in here, reload the page and see the animation. So let's just reload the page. And here it is, check it out now. Let me zoom in on it so you can see. So it's rotating and pulsing at the exact same time. And if you want to uh, add another animation, you can add any animation in here. For example, this swing right here, only swing, another combination. Copy the code for it, get back and replace the previous one. Paste in, hit save, get back in here, reload the page. It didn't take effect yet. Let me reload the page. Yeah, here it is. So this is swinging animation without the pulsing. It doesn't uh, like pulse or breathe, but it's swinging. Just like the code I did copy swing effect, as you can see. 
So this one, as I said, is for constant animation without user interaction. If you want to use the hover, this one is the exact same effect, but it's on hover. Once the user hover over it, then it shows the animation. But I think most of you are interested in this stuff. And as I said, there is over eight animations in here, as you can see. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, hey, one second. So the last one is fifth, then six, seven, eight, nine actually nine animations to pick and choose which one you want and that's how you add animes to the logo without using any complex stuff as you saw and it takes time to build stuff like this for each team i would appreciate if you hit that like button and leave me a comment if you have any questions make sure to drop them below but for now i think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one